Hey. How you guys doing? I hope all is well. I just thank, thank Abba for giving me the chance to make it this far. And let me be able to experience this journey, path, storm, trials, tribulations, all of that. I'm getting closer to that age that gives me some nervousness, anxiety. My sisters have passed that particular age. I haven't. This particular age, my mother never made it. Never made it. So this year, I've thought about a lot of things. I contemplated on how she felt, how she was dealing with things, how she was coping with things. If she asked God certain questions, you know, it, it ran through my mind. And one day I got overwhelmed and I cried. And it felt like I, I was feeling what she was feeling and I, I accepted it. But I asked God for more time. You know what I'm saying? I got, I, I got his permission. I, I told him I needed more time. And I asked him. And it was very emotional. Very emotional. But I learned something. In these past three months, I've been doing my detox. And the more I refuse to let the flesh rise up, the more I'm disciplined in the distractions and the decisions that I make in the future. And the discipline that I need... In order to progress, to get further to my dream, it's just another tool on my belt. So as I refuse to eat hot dogs and hamburgers and bread and pasta and rice and dairy, all of these things, the more that I refuse these things, the better I'm able to like feel confident feel better about myself feel more love and less hate feel more self esteem and self efficient and having that self efficacy just feeling whole every day I wake up every day I open up my eyes and like see the grass being a lot greener you know being able to like breathe in better because I'm just able to feel my lungs and expel at a certain certain rate to where I'm getting that oxygen that I need that discipline helps me in my long term goal it gets me closer to my dream. Half of the stuff that the flesh wants, the body actually doesn't really need. Temporary pain, temporary discipline, temporary anything will actually get you to where you really need to get. I don't try to use big words and explaining simple things like this. Some people ask me, why are you doing this? Why, 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 why? I don't drink, I don't smoke. I'm celibate right now. I'm on a detox right now. I'm doing things that I need to do 
right now before it's a problem in the future. So I'm dealing with things right now. I'm conquering things right now. I'm overcoming certain fears right now. Which will actually help me in the long run. So instead of running from my fears, running from my past, I'm diving in. I'm dealing with it. I'm going through it. If someone got a problem with me, I need to talk to you. Forget a text. You know what I'm saying? If somebody uh, doesn't like what I'm doing, hey, you can come talk to me. Let me know. I deal with it. I have no problem. I'm not easily offended no more. I used to be like that. Someone told me the other day, I don't care. It doesn't affect me if you don't call me or, well, it actually it was in a text. It doesn't affect me if you don't respond. It don't matter to me either. You're in your feelings. I'm not. I have a totally different agenda. I, I have a totally different intention about who I um, want in my circle. It's for a reason. We're linking up for a reason. We don't have to be um, intimate sexually. We can be intimate on a totally different level. I don't have to lay with you in order to feel love. Some people, they'll beat you up because you changed on them. Well, you're not the same person you said you was going to be after I said this. It don't matter, honey. I don't care. It don't matter to me. If I switched up, if I changed up, that's on me. I can change up whenever I want, however I want, when I want to. Ain't no rules to this. And if it is, I can break them. I can rewrite them. Especially if they don't please me and they ain't got nothing to do with me no more. I can switch up however I want to. You must be in your feelings. About what? I don't care if you don't call me, don't see me, don't text me. It don't even matter, honey. There's boundaries. And as I go through my detox, I understand there's boundaries. I can switch up whatever I want to. There's boundaries. There's discipline in me not eating certain things. So when I do have to make a choice or a decision, I can make the right one. I can say, hey, this is not going to help me. I don't need it. Because I done been through. I done been through it. I done been through it. I don't need that. We need more love, less hate. We need more people to go inside themselves to figure out what's wrong with them, how they feeling, when they feeling, why this made them feel a certain type of way. If it's making you feel weak, get rid of it. That's how it works. If you don't understand that about yourself, you need to go deep and find out what that is. If you're easily offended by me saying that, you really need to go and figure out what it is inside of you and not that person. Because people can say whatever they want to. That's just how it is. And that's how they feel. That's their opinion and they're entitled to it. Don't matter what you're talking about. I tell my kids all the time, it's not even about you. Half of the time, it's not even about you. When you having a problem, it's not even about you. And then if you do have a problem, you need to go find out why you having that problem. Why are you having that problem? Why are you so easily mad and offended? Why are you so outraged? Why are you so ready to fight and pull a gun? Why are you so ready to do those things because somebody offended you? They have the right to offend you. They have a right to do whatever they want to, just like you got a right to, too. Stop crossing the line, people. It's discipline. 
Just because you mad don't mean you need to go to violence. Just because you mad don't mean you need to get in your feelings. You need to check yourself. Figure out what's wrong with you. Really figure it out. You worried about the wrong thing. That's what's wrong with a lot of people. That's why people fucked up now. They worried about the wrong thing. What you worried about that for? Come on, man. Bullshit ain't about nothing. Nothing. Mm. Discipline. You know? Discipline. The more I discipline myself, the more I'm able to get further in. Further towards my goal. And this is at my pace, my rate. This is my world, no one else's. You're entitled to your own suggestion about me and my world. That's fine. But you cannot live this world better than I'm living in my world. You can't. Just the other day, I was coming back from out of town and I did some crazy stuff. I didn't even go to bed. And I hit the highway. I prayed, you know. I prayed while I was on the road, but every single time I, I went on here and I ate something that I wasn't supposed to, and, and it instantly made me sleepy, sleepy. And if I wouldn't have ate that, I would have been fine. It wasn't even much, but it was that flesh. <laughs> it was that flesh that was doing that. So I ate it. And when I ate that thing, I instantly got tired. I was still on the road, still on the road. And I just felt myself nodding off every single time, nodding off. But I was praying. I was on the highway, but I was praying. I'm still nodding off. And you know, when you pray and when you just like doing what you're supposed to, I was literally asleep most of that ride back home. I could have died. It was construction and everywhere. So on either side of the lane, I could have went off on the left hand side or the right hand side. Regardless, I was still just going, driving, driving, driving. Every time I nod off, shake it off, Heather, shake it off, nodding off, nodding off. I just ask for, you know what I'm saying, the traveling angels. I ask for it. But at the same time, I could have died. I could have died. I was pushing my limits. I could have died. It really made me afraid because I was trusting and myself and the angels and the energy around me in my car to get me back home. But once I got home, I told God I'd never do that again. I told my angels I'd never do that again. I was pushing my limits for no reason when all I had to do was just get off on the side of the road, take a little nap, wake up, and then get back home. That's what some people do when they pushing their limits. They asking God, driving, driving, driving down this road life called, called you know what I'm saying? On the, on the destiny to nowhere. You asking God, you, you having God, oh, travel, travel with me. I need those traveling angels. But you, you got the hazardous signs on the right hand side then you got the cliff dropping off on the left hand side and you just driving 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 you got a truck in front of you and people behind you you still just driving 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 halfway asleep nodding off every single time asking god for forgiveness and, and please help me and nodding off every single time you pushing your limits every single time every single time you pushing your limits and you know for a fact you don't supposed to keep doing it. You can only be saved so many times. That was my one time. That's my last time. I had that same like drive when I was young. I was like 17, 18. My dad brought me a car. I was on I had somebody in the car with me, but I was on my way back. And I swerved. And once I swerved, I was like almost underneath the uh, 18-wheeler. And I heard like, eh. I was halfway asleep. Halfway asleep. 
on my way back. Trying to get to where I, I need to be going. You know? I can't keep pushing the limits. I can't keep expecting that, that the angels going to come and help me and save me. That God, gonna, that God got me. No, I can't keep pushing the limits. I need to be smarter. <laughs> Pull over to the side. I need to be smarter. Don't react to people. I need to be smarter. Say the right thing. I need to be smarter. I need to take care of myself. That's what some of these people need. Some of y'all need. Need to be smarter, man. You can't keep calling on God to help you, help you, help you. And every single time, you on, you on either side of the lane just swerving, nodding off. No, oh, man, stop. Get disciplined, man. Work on yourself. So you can further yourself. Work on yourself. Or you ain't gonna get too far. And everybody keeps talking about we gonna we gonna do this, we gonna do that. I ain't seen nobody do much of nothing. A lot of people are lacking certain things. Get out and help them. There was a fight in in this particular city on the other side of the city. They had the same type of incident go on. What do you expect? Help the people. Stop throwing the money around and actually help the people. Get the people in there. Stop limiting what we can actually do with the kids. We need it. We already know what kind of system this is. We need it. I was in it. Only for a little while. But you wouldn't even know that. We need it. Whatever I lacked back in the day, these kids are lacking times two, four, five, six. And I'm talking about lacking inside, lacking the self-love, lacking the self-care, lacking those things inside. It's all inside. It ain't even the outer appearance. It's all inside. I'm here to be that that ambassador I'm here to be that counselor that life coach the person that gives that somebody a chance to be who they are that's who I am God gave me the power to speak <laughs> God gave me a power to be a poetic person and to speak and to use my words wisely. This is who I am. I'm a goddess. I'm here for a reason. I'm going to make it to that number. And I'm going to praise Abba every single day. I'm going to keep reading and growing and changing. It's for a reason. That's my mission. Yeah, I feel like I done been here before. I know I done been here before. I had to remember who I was. I'm still trying to figure out who I am. I ain't done yet. I'm not. I just had to get that discipline. We heard about that story, how Jesus had to go through that valley. He needed to go through that valley for a reason. It was discipline. He asked for more time. He did. He probably got a little bit more time too. But he know what time it was. Ask for more time. Work on yourself. Stop playing with yourself. Work on yourself. Then you can help other people. You doing too much and you worried about the wrong thing. Work on yourself. That's not being selfish. Take care of yourself. That's not being selfish. Work on yourself. Love yourself. Do the things you want to do. Like buying yourself shoes. If you like the color, go on and color. Do that. If you work too much, take time out and go get a pedicure, manicure. Do that. Work on yourself. 
If ain't nobody else telling you you love, they love you, tell yourself. Tell yourself. You can't expect nobody to do nothing for you. No, stop. That's where you get the heartbreak. That's where the pain come in. Work on yourself. I like coming out here. It's nice and calm in, in this place. Nature. On an October morning. I was supposed to go out of town, but I can't. I can't. Some told me no. So I came here to visit my mother. I need that energy. Send it back to me, mom. You know? Come to me. Yes. Yes. All that. All that. I love my life. At some point in time, I want to give it up. Not no more. I found something in me that I couldn't give up on. And it wasn't my kids that really, you know, kept me here. And that's the honest truth. A lot of people like, I do it for my kids, I do it for my kids. No, this is for me. Nobody else. This is for me. This is me. This is my life. Them kids don't care. As long as they getting fed and some shoes and that, that phone, they don't care. This is for me. All me. Going forward, start loving yourself. Speaking those self-affirmations. Start doing that mindfulness. Get some exercise going. Eat healthy and drink more water. Take time out, do some reflection, set some goals, and you off to a good start. Also, make sure you read. Best thing to do. Best thing to do in life. Read. I'm signing off. Thank you so much.